what is going on guys welcome back to auto auction storm chasers rebuilds I, I don't know i'm in Terre Haute, indiana and as you can see around me it's a it's it's a bit of a mess there's a cop back there because i'm not supposed to be here he's probably gonna come and uh, escort me off the property here very very soon but we've got some major severe weather up here in Terre Haute, indiana i'm up here on vacation with my family things went crazy so I decided to film what I could for you guys while it was all going down and after the fact. So enjoy the video. Here comes the storms. Dog is freaking out. Oh, wow. Yeah, there goes the power. Wow. And there goes the power again. Good night. Looks like power ain't coming back on this time. Maybe it will. Well, it is not messing around out here today. Oh my God. Trees are coming down everywhere. That tree out there just fell. Another tree just fell. Power is out. A tree limb fell and hit the roof. Made a horrible noise. Wow. There's another transformer. They're popping left and right out here. Oh shit. Wow. Another one hit the roof. That house right there, the whole roof is peeling off of it now. Look at that. And up there on the top, it just peeled that roof right off. Well, I think the worst is over. Good Lord. There's an entire tree down up the street there. Wow. The good news is the roof, roof looks like it held up just fine. Those were 80 plus mile an hour winds. We got a lot of uh, tree limbs up here on the top of the roof. It's hard to see, but there it is. Not too bad, considering we had a bunch of limbs fall right on top of the roof and then bounce off. Not bad at all. I'll take a little walk, see how bad it is. There's the, uh, the new truck. It uh, survived. No power. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> A tree limb fell right into the power line. We heard so many transformers just popping. Hopefully this tree is safe. Wow but the garbage can is still standing upright. That, that sucker would have hurt. 
I don't even know where it fell from exactly. Golly. Oh, look at this alley. Wow. This is crazy. We get some store. I guess our garbage isn't going to get taken. <laughs> That's nice. Man, I was standing. Look at all the tree limbs that are just that are just down. Over here as well. You can see right up there where that one came off of. That put the hurting on somebody real quick. And all of these tree limbs over here, all down, fresh. Look at this. Oh, it took out their fence. Wow, that is huge. These are big limbs. That crashed right on top of their house. Look at that. Right on top of their house. Here's another one. Look at this dangling from a power line. This one is just, it's hanging off of the power line. That's the only thing holding it up. It's a damn power line. Just dangling right there. More down limbs. Boy, it is a hot mess out here. This is a hot mess. We decided to kind of walk through the alley. Oh man, this guy's pickup truck. A tree fell on top of his house and his truck. Oh. That's a shame. Wow. There's another, uh, a big one down over here. Over here too. It fell on top of this house. Oh, that's a power line. Hold on, watch it. Yeah, we probably shouldn't go any further. I didn't realize we had a power line laying on the ground over here. Golly. Another good look at the roof there. Looks like this house came out unscathed, which is pretty impressive. All right, let's continue up the road here because I see some more tree damage up here. There's uh, 2,000 people in this general neighborhood with no electricity right now, and I'm willing to bet there isn't going to be power for a good part of the rest of the day. This house right here, you can see some of their shingles are all over the yard, and it just destroyed their roof, man. Those winds were no joke. It, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> I know what's wrong with that roof. Les did that roof. I almost hate saying that on camera, but Les put that roof on that house <laughs> many years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, it blew right off. <laughs> wow. This is wild, man. I mean, these aren't small tree limbs that came down. These are humongous trees. This is wild. Oh, the whole road up here is blocked. Coming up to the main street up here, the entire road is blocked by trees. Let's go check that out. All right, we're getting close to where the road's completely. It looked like a whole tree got taken down up there. Yeah, I think I think it did. No way. This is wild for Terre Haute, man. Like this is. Oh, there's trees all down over there too. Way out there by Maple. Nobody's got power anywhere out here. Surprisingly, there's not many people walking around. Probably not the smartest thing to be walking around underneath these trees that are freshly falling down, but wow, take a look at this. 
Good Lord. That was half a tree. No kidding. Yeah, and there's another one about to collapse right here. Look, if you look up there, it's dangling down. That thing's just waiting to hit somebody in the head. So I'm gonna walk under it. Just take a look at the size of this thing, man. Look at this. Instead of a Copart walk around, we're doing a storm damage walk around. And there's where it came off right there. This is absolutely insane, man. There is so much damage out here. It got their roof pretty good. It looks like this tree limb fell on this car too. Wow, look how it just split down the side right there. Let me, let me look real quick. <laughs> Golly. Oh, wow. Oh, it missed it. I mean, it missed that car by maybe two feet. And this thing just disintegrated all over the road. Wow. There's a lot of traffic out here today. There's no power, but the street lights are still on. That is crazy. Let's walk up towards 12 points and see if there's any other damage up here. Everything up here looks fine. It looks like there's electricity and everything. Everybody's got power up here. Well, that's nice. It figures my little neighborhood's the one to get, uh, get the power taken out. Look how old the roof is on this house right here. And it looks like it's still mostly intact. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy siding falling off and this house is still fine all right well i'm not seeing any damage this far up so maybe it was just our little neighborhood that got hit yeah everything looks pretty good over here well anyway for those of you that hadn't seen this is 12 points on maple and 13th in Terre Haute, indiana we'll uh cross over there walk through it real quick and uh turn around and head back to the house is that the cops right there yeah he's getting it too all right well we skipped going through 12 points because it didn't look like there was any real damage up there anyway so we're gonna walk oh wow yeah that's no bs is it man it just sheared these trees right down like they were nothing. We'll come through the back way, back over to Ron's house. And then we're going to run up to uh, Collett Park real quick. There's no electricity here, so there's no point in hanging out waiting for uh, the power to come back on. Power company says it'll probably be at least five hours before we get electricity. So might as well hop in the truck and go see what we can find. Usually when you get big storms like this, uh, Collett Park gets hit pretty heavy. So we'll run up there. I don't think there's anything else to see on these back roads. So let's go check out the park. So this is Collett Park. And this place has been here. Well, it's probably the oldest park in Terre Haute. And as you can see, you got trees down over there. trees down over here it's bad this park always gets hammered whenever we have severe weather always that one right there though that is wild I'm telling you the way these storms just ripped through here and just started tearing trees apart like they were nothing it's like it's like they were made out of paper or something. There's a lot more damage up this way. Oh wow, more than I even realized. 
there's a lot of little little limbs down over there but over here this is where we got some of the bigger damage let's go take a look at all this again lots of little limbs but coming over this way things get a little bit bigger look at this and we're not we're not even there yet guys <laughs> bear with me there's more coming forgive me i don't have any mics or anything i came up to Terre Haute for a vacation you know brought the family up here we came up here for a nice little vacay and uh we've been up here for just about a week now and this happened like this just hit out of nowhere they said you might have some thunderstorms well hell <laughs> i think they underestimated uh <laughs> the thunderstorms there take a look at that look at that that came from up there and it landed right on its top same thing over here by the way i am keeping an eye out while i'm filming i'm looking up and just oh wow lightning look at this technically this park is closed i'm not supposed to be here obviously it's dangerous to be walking around um number one in a thunderstorm with lots of lightning and number two around trees that are obviously heavily damaged um i wouldn't recommend doing this to anybody but uh, to anybody this is absolutely stupid it's a horrible idea but i this is what i always do man i love coming out after a good storm and kind of assessing the damage i'm not in anybody's way there's nobody out here i'm not interfering with anything i'm just walking around and like i said i'm always looking up if you look down here you'll see some more and it's really starting to pour now i'll probably have to get out of here pretty soon but i wanted to bring you guys along with me for this look at that tore that sucker right down didn't it wow yeah nothing but an iphone today no uh no fancy microphones or anything just uh just an iphone so however this turns out is how it turns out there ain't nothing i can do about it i had to come see this though because it's been probably it's probably been 15 18 years since i've seen a storm hit Terre Haute that was like this i mean there is there's a lot of damage and since there's no power at ron's house um there really isn't much else to do but kind of go looking around checking out the damages and uh after that we'll go find a part of Terre Haute that does have power and probably go get something to eat wow this is just crazy man the trees are just down absolutely everywhere oh man there's a cop yeah great he's probably <laughs> he's probably going man this idiot we got to get him up out of here i'm not gonna be here much longer and take a look out there look at that so much carnage out there and over here i mean it's everywhere there there's a lot of damage here there's a power line down right there so obviously i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess around over there in fact we're probably about to go ahead and leave because the park is technically closed <laughs> the gates closed which means you can't drive in but there's no fence around the place so i mean it's not like you can't just walk in there were no signs that said that you can't enter or anything like that but look right here power lines right there where that tree limb is you could barely see it but yeah wrapped up in there this tree came completely down whole damn tree this tree here got some damage too but look at that that was a that was a good sized tree man just rolled right on over like it was nothing look at that vantage point wow yeah there's uh it's actually really sad it's really sad to see all this damage out here um my fiance 
and I have been discussing possibly staying here for a while, like maybe for a couple, three months or so. Um, there's gonna be a lot of cleanup that's gonna have to be done out here. This is all gonna take quite a while, especially, look, look back here. I'm not gonna walk back there, but just, Look at, look at all the trees that are just, oh, wow. Well, that's gonna produce some thunder. That was a ton of lightning. We probably should get out, yeah. Yep, we, we, we probably ought to be getting up out of here, guys. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share this with you. Some of you guys like storm stuff. I know it's a car channel. Most of you guys aren't into stuff like this, but uh, hell. I like this kind of stuff, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. I think we're going to call this one a wrap. Well, little bonus footage, it's the next day, and uh, this is something that Monkey Ranch Mike and I are going to have to be coming and picking up soon. I want you to stay tuned for this. I'm not going to show you any more of it, but you can take a look at it and see it's, uh, there's something very wrong with it, and the goal is to try to drive it back to Oklahoma. Um, Jessica and Nick and I spent all of yesterday evening clearing this street all the way down so that people could get through. We got all the limbs out of the way. The yard is completely picked up all of the big limbs and stuff that came down. Nick was a big help. We went and bought some rakes and a little trolley uh, and we were out here just cleaning this mess up. Unfortunately, there's still no power so we have uh, we have no electricity. Cell service is almost non-existent. Most of the time I have an SOS badge on my phone. So you can barely even use internet on your cell phone either. Um, no electric crews anywhere. Power lines are still down everywhere. So just a quick update. We got most of this stuff cleaned up. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, there's not going to be any power or internet indefinitely. Uh, so we may have to cut this little trip of ours short and uh, turn around and head back to Oklahoma. But anyway, just wanted to give a little update before I have to do that. I can't make videos because I can't upload them. Everything is closed. All the businesses are shut down out here. There's only a few things that are open. Internet is non-existent almost anywhere out here. So, uh, yeah, it sucks. But thankfully, we don't have any property damage. The house is fine. We're all fine. And... Uh, We'll see what happens in the next video. So that's the video, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you enjoyed this content. I feel weird walking under these trees knowing that there are some of these right behind me here, uh, just like that, you know? Any of these tree limbs could be coming down. So I, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm headed back to the truck. Thankfully, I didn't get in, a, in any trouble for being out here, but hope you enjoyed my little storm video. Again, I know it's not for everybody, but if you enjoy storms and damage and that kind of stuff, then this is probably a good video for you. Hopefully the video and audio quality was fine. As I said, no mics or anything, just an iPhone. I'm going to get out of here, but I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.